what's up, Biz out here. Um, just got back from watching Halloween 2, and I want to talk about it. Um, I feel like I can't talk about Halloween 2 without, yet again, talking about Rob Zombie's Halloween, just briefly. Um, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Rob Zombie's Halloween was the most depressing movie-going experience of my life. Um... So when I heard that he was going to come back and do part two, um, when I heard that, you know, Sherman Zombie was going to be back in the film, when I heard that, you know, that they cast another young actor to play young Michael Myers, um, so on and so forth, I was dreading basically a retread of the remake. Um, you know, it, it really uh, <laughs> filled me with, with a nameless dread. Um, the trailer, I, I, I came to two assumptions after watching the trailer, two expectations. Um, one, uh, it was either going to be a complete catastrophe, a debacle, a mess of a movie, or it could be something really out there and crazy and different and entertaining and fun. Because this, um, you know, this, for, for, for argument's sake, is the real Rob Zombie's Halloween. This is Rob Zombie's Halloween. Um, he doesn't have to pay homage to anything. He doesn't have to create any kind of backstory, any kind of character development. He can just, you know, hit you with both barrels. And he does. And the film itself is a little bit of both. It's a mess, but I quite liked it, to be truthful. <laughs> I actually liked the film. Um, the movie starts off uh, right after uh, the events of uh, the remake. Um, and follows Laurie Strode. It fast forwards a year later after that, and Laurie Strode is not faring very well. Um, she has um, uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, basically. She's night terrors. Um, she's she's not faring very well. Um, she's tatted up. She's got some tats going on now. She's a little darker now. She's uh, you know she's abandoned her goody two shoes uh, persona. Um, strangely, enough, strangely enough, she's all for going to a Halloween party um, just a year after the events of Rob Zombie's Halloween that, that found her uh, at the end covered in blood and, uh, 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 and so on and so forth. And her parents, of course, are dead and uh, whatnot. Yet she still wants to party. Um, at the same time as Halloween draws near, so does Michael, who has um, apparently in his, the, the interim between films has been uh, living a uh, bum's existence. Um, he's looking pretty ratty, um, but he's held on to uh, he's held on to the mask. Luckily, um, Michael also is haunted by visions of uh, his dead mother and uh, uh, of him as a boy. So, um, do you see a thread there linking? Lori and Michael together. That that continues throughout the film. Um, worlds collide. Um, blood is shed. Carnage. Uh, craziness. Um, so on and so forth. Um, the bottom line is, as, as a slasher movie goes, this is a pretty good slasher movie. Um, it is crazy. It is out there. Um, the... Um, the inclusion of, of Sherry Moon Zombie as Michael's mother wearing this white outfit and leading a white horse um, <coughs> uh, around at times feels really pointless and, and unneeded. However, it's, it's a, it, the, the inclusion of that is a means to an end or t to the end of the film, which um, I won't go too into. I will say that uh, the movie ends in a way that... They're, they're, they're on, on a crossroads, really. Um, not sure where it's going to go from here, though. I mean, I'm sure if they do part three, um, they'll whitewash over all that. Michael will be back and whatnot. Um, still, Scout Taylor Compton reprises her role as Laurie Strode. Um, I never really minded her in the first one. I know a lot of people disliked her. Um, I didn't really mind her. I thought she's pretty. Um, Daniel Harris returns as Annie. Uh, Surviving from the original film, both of them are living from uh, are living with um, Annie's father, uh, Brad Dourif, who reprises his role as the chief of uh, police of Haddonfield. Um, Doctor Loomis is back, though his 
his his character in the film is totally um it's it's funny in a way but it's it's totally unneeded i mean they why he's in the movie you know again it's a means to an end but it's so sort of paper thin you know he's 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 a media whore and he's a huge media whore now um he's written a book um with some uh, secrets um he divulges to the world now uh and to Lori that uh, Michael Myers is his sister um she doesn't take that very well um <laughs> Malcolm McDowell just seems kind of um lost in the movie really <laughs> Um, which is kind of funny. Um, it's <laughs> it's just kind of fun. Um, you know, it's it like I said, it's just it's it's a straightforward crazy ass movie. Um, straightforward and crazy ass. I, I, whatever. It's it, it's crazy, but I mean, it's just a, it's just a, it's coming at you. Uh, guns blazing. It's a slasher. Um, you know, we, we've met these characters. There's no need to talk about, uh, you know, their development and things like that. No need to retread the past, which they don't. Um, you know, we, we get one very brief scene of, of Michael and his mother at the uh, uh, institution as a boy, very briefly, which was very cool. I'm glad they didn't retread that. Um, thank you, Rob. Um, it's just a down and dirty slasher movie. Actually, when I walked out of the movie, um, uh, I thought of Laid to Rest for some reason, and I said, this is the movie Laid to Rest should have been. Um, but that's, 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 that's something else. Um, so the movie does a lot of things right. Um, the, movie does, the movie is a little odd in places. Um, it, it, the, movie, the, the remake took place in the 70s. Uh, this is a year later, yet... Uh, Somehow people are using cell phones. There's flat screen, high def TVs. Um, there's contemporary cars. Uh, did I miss something? I mean, what's 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 up with that? I I, I was like, screw continuity. Um, um, the ending of the movie, like I said, it's a little goofy. Um, look, I mean, if you're gonna, if 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 a guy can take a gunshot blast at point blank range ostensibly right in the face um, you know a few pokes with a sharp thing probably not going to keep him down I think you might need to pack his crack with some dynamite and blow him to smithereens but uh, hey um, I'm just I don't know I, I'm kind of flabbergasted that the movie's actually good I, I'm, I'm you know like I said I went into it with with good intentions cautiously optimistic intentions and uh, um, or expectations, I should say, and it was, it's a good movie, it's a good slasher movie, um, it's just, it's just no holds barred, it's no holds barred, it's, it's from beginning to end, uh, fast, you know, bloody, uh, brutal slasher movie, which is exactly how it should have been, this is, this is really Rob Zombie's Halloween, um, this isn't Rob Zombie's version of John Carpenter's Halloween. This is Rob Zombie's Halloween. And, um, I dug it. Bottom line, point blank, period. Go see Halloween 2. I, I, uh, yeah, I'm saying that. Go see Halloween 2. Um, and I've actually got a test for people. Um, a lot of people in the horror community, uh, seem to really love Laid to Rest. I'm not one of them. In fact, I'm the only person that I know of um, in the online horror community that dislikes that film. Uh, yet, at the same time, like I said, leaving the theater, I said, this is the movie Laid to Rest should be. So if you like Laid to Rest, you should really like Halloween 2. Um, now I want to lay a couple of rumors to rest about the movie that I heard um, before uh, in the weeks leading up to its release. Um, Number one, Michael Myers sands mask for 70, 80, 90 percent of the movie. Not true. Uh, Michael Myers speaks in the film, uh, or adult Michael Myers speaks in the film. Not true, though he does grunt quite excessively. Um, uh, Laurie Strode dies. Um, <laughs> have to check that one out, Wink, um, for yourself. Um, no more backstory. Uh, I heard 
I read somewhere that there was, you know, even more backstory from the Myers youth. There isn't, thank God. Um, so, uh, again, bottom line, let me reiterate: Halloween Two is a good slasher movie. Um, period. Um, I really enjoyed it, and I think you will too. So, go and check it out.